right, let's move on to another issue that we've kicked off and we've got into uh, here on the platform. You will have known, uh, or you'd be aware now as a listener, about F Boy Island. Amazing piece of reality television that Television New Zealand has paid for the international rights for and has actually gone ahead and made this program, which the premise of which is that 20 young men, half of whom are nice boys and half of whom are sexual predators, go on an island and three girls pick which are the F boys and which are the nice boys. Unfortunately, one of the contestants was definitely an F boy. He'd been acquitted of a strangulation charge. He's been edited out of the program. But what is TVNZ doing making this rubbish anyway? We had Louise Nicholas, anti-violence, Nichols, sorry, anti-violence campaigner on last week. She called on TVNZ to axe the program. They have not returned any of our calls. They have been willfully silent on this. But there is a petition. There is a petition um, underway that calls on TVNZ to um, axe F Boy Island. Um, and I think that's, although I'm not a great one for petitions and, and, and cancel culture, I kind of the thing I might, I might actually sign. Let's talk to the organiser of that petition from Project Gender New Zealand, Tania Demet. Tania, welcome to the platform. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Sean, and thanks very much for having me on. All right. Can I just first tell us a bit about your organisation? What is Project yeah. Gender? So Project Gender, we're a research and campaign agency, um, and we run projects that are aimed, I guess, as a, as a high-level goal at improving gender equity in New Zealand. So work we've done in the past has been aimed at, for example, getting more women into the trades, and we're currently running a project looking at what single parents need for themselves and their children to get ahead, so that, that sort of thing. Okay, that seems a little bit removed. From reality <laughs> TV and F Boy Island. <laughs> well, look, you know, we were prompted by a, the sheer horror of this show. Um, and also, you know, we're very used to running campaigns at Project Gender. We, so we wanted to use our skills and our, our platform to try and raise awareness of the show and get New Zealanders on board and convince TV and Z to pull it. Uh, as well, we've we've recently carried out research at Project Gender on how New Zealanders uh, are navigating the world of online dating and sex, and so we knew that this show will cause harm, or already is causing harm. You know, it's basically gamifying predatory sexual behaviour and yeah. normalising the use of coercion and manipulation to get someone into bed. It's, it's a shocker. Yeah, um, well, we haven't seen it yet, though. We, we don't know. It might be no. this wonderful, like, you know, I don't know. A Mormon, yeah, a Mormon so. courtship instruction manual. <laughs> Do you think? I think, you know, what you're saying in your intro, you know, you describe the rules of the game. It basically sets up the idea that all men are potentially F-boys, so, you know, mm. and, that, and that being one, having to protect yourself from one is a, is a legitimate part of the world of dating. Mm. Um, you know, I look... My, just as an example, my, my son and his friends are fighting this hard. I've had a, a house full of teenage boys this past week, you know, with the bank school holidays, and we've been having some really hard conversations about how it makes them feel. They don't want it either. They've had those ads turn up on their feet, and it's actually making them feel a bit ashamed, you know, to be a guy, to know that's what young women might think of them. And yeah. it, it actually makes me wild, you know, our amazing young men who are better than this. And frankly deserves better than this. Yeah, that was the um, interesting thing that Louise Nicholas said. She said, this is bad for both sexes, both genders. It oh, does totally. it, it does nothing for anyone. Yeah, uh, I mean, it will definitely put women in danger, no question. It's basically throwing the a consent rule book out the window. Um, but it's also not a great message for our young men about how to go about having a healthy, positive sexual relationship. And it's basically, you know, um, setting up this idea that men are these kind of untamed wild animals whose responsibility it is women's, um, you know, to try and set their behaviour, which is appalling, yeah. you know. All right. And have you, you know, have you approached TVNZ? 
Yeah, we have. Um, and yeah, the silence, um, well, actually, we haven't approached them yet. We're actually about to write a letter to Simon Power with the results of our petition, which is um, going, you know, gangbusters. We've had well over 4,000 um, signatures in four days. Mm. Um, so we've been tagging them left, right and centre across all our socials, but we are going to write to Simon Power today with, with that and, and ask to, to sit down with him, you know, um, we think we can we can help. <laughs> yeah. Um, certainly, you know, make make the case uh, for them to pull it. Yeah. Um, well, Tania, I'd like us to, um, if we could help out, if you can send us the link, we'll give it a push on the platform. Oh, look, that would be well. look, and I just want to say, you know, it's absolutely TVNZ's intention to target young people with us. And, you know, you, you and I, we're not the market, right, Sean? Uh, we can just switch it off with, or not turn the tally on in the first place, which I'm, you know, increasingly doing. But young people are less resistant. You know, they've been... They've been targeted everywhere, um, multiple channels, ads have been going out on YouTube and Instagram, and for everyone thinking that young people don't watch TV, these types of shows generate huge amounts of social media engagement and traffic, you know, each contestant's going to put up their own, you know, god awful social media following. It's basically going to be everywhere young people are online, and TVNZ have actually said, and I quote, our strategy for TVNZ is to grow our relevance to Rangatou and Aotearoa and if boy Iron Man said is part of the plan. Wow. You know, and, well, wow. I, yeah. You know, I've, I've looked at people like Kate Slater, who's the head of programming, Simon Power. Yes. I just think they're, too, I think they're too embarrassed to engage on this. I think they must be cringing uh, sure at what they. they're doing. Um, yeah, absolutely. So, look, it's supposed to be airing on Wednesday night. If, if all of your listeners can sign the petition, we, we want to hit 5,000. I think we will do it. Um, you know, it's been phenomenal, actually. It's yeah. just, just in four Tanya, days. Tanya, where so, do you find do the it? petition to get rid of F Boy Island? So, um, it's on Action Station, but you can also go to our website, projectgender.co.nz, and it's hosted there. Um, but it is on actionstation.org.nz. Okay, we'll give it a push, we'll give it a push today. <laughs> Um, yeah. Be careful searching for F boy though. Who knows what else might pop up? Well, and that's <laughs> the whole thing, isn't it? That is the whole thing. Yeah. It's just, I mean, so ridiculous, so absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. I thank you very much indeed uh, for your time today, Tony, and I wish you well oh. in thanks, in your thanks, project. John, thanks for your support. Brilliant. Cheers. Okay. That's Tanya Demet from Project Gender New Zealand, and yep, I think they're right. This program's got to go. Sean, how does TVNZ think that F boy is responsible broadcasting? Well, it doesn't.